Assalamualaikum dan selamat sejahtera so kita sambung dengan beberapa lagi aktiviti di dalam SOLIDWORKS so kalau anda masih lagi ingat sebelum ni di dalam video sebelum ni kita telah menghasilkan satu cube di mana the dimensions of the cubes uh, 100mm 100mm times 100mm the, the height of this cube or the box, solid box is 100mm as well so uh, I would like to share with all of you uh, again with the view orientation I've already shared with all of you about the isometric view diametric view as well as trimetric view and uh, this time I would like to uh, show to you how are we going to apply all these views which are representing top view, front view, left view, right view, back or also known as rear view as well as bottom view. So basically let's say this is the cube. Uh, in this I'm going to switch this to isometric view. Okay. Let's say I would like to uh, switch to top view. So if I click top view, so this is our top view of the uh, cubes. If I select front view, so this is the front view. Same as well as if I choose bottom view, so this is the bottom view of the cube. Same to go to left, right, as well as back or rear. So you can play around with all these views uh, later, right? So I'm going to switch back to the isometric view. All right. So uh, in my first video, I've already mentioned that before we create created any uh, parts like this, much as we don't get any 3D solid modeling. So so you try imagine that kita belum hasilkan part ni, okay? So SOLIDWORKS already provided to us uh, three types of sketch plane, okay? Yaitu front plane, top plane dengan right plane. So uh, kita uh, sebelum uh, kita menghasilkan uh, solid modeling uh, seperti cube ni, sebagai contohnya, SOLIDWORKS telah uh, uh, menyediakan tiga jenis uh, sketch plane, yaitu front, top dan right. Namun demikian, setelah kita menghasilkan certain part, okay, uh, such as this cube, so kita boleh menggunakan plane-plane yang ada, permukaan-permukaan yang ada pada cube ini sebagai kita punya sketch plane. Alright, semua plane yang terlibat ini, yang ada pada cube ni, kita boleh gunakan dia sebagai sketch plane instead of these three planes. Okay, let's say for example, I'm going to choose this top plane as my sketch plane. Saya nak buat sesuatu sketch pada permukaan ni. So, I pilih dulu. I pilih dulu sketch plane ni. Top sketch plane. Go to sketch. And then I choose sketch icon. Okay. So, and then I'm going to switch to normal 2. Right. So, I'm going to click somewhere around here, dekat luar ni, untuk uh, hilangkan tanda warna biru ni. So, I just click anywhere around here. Click here. Then, I'm going to zoom this. Okay. Let's say I'm going to create a circle. Okay. If you spend this, we do have two types of circle. But, I'm going to pick the first one, which is circle. Alright. So, I'm going to pick this one. And then, I'm going to locate this uh, circle at the center of this box all right so let's say i'm going to i just simply create first somewhere around here uh, okay i still do not know uh, whether this is at the center point of this uh, box okay this uh, rectangle box uh, however i just simply click here first later on i can i can uh, indicate with the dimensions so it's just let's say somewhere around here and then click OK. Lepas tu saya perlu masukkan dimensions. So I go to smart dimensions. Dan saya nak indicate dia punya diameter. Diameter of this hole. Let's say I'm going to make it 50. 50 mm dia punya uh, diameter. So click OK. 
Dan sekarang ni saya nak locatekan center point ni pada bahagian tengah-tengah Tengah-tengah ah, empat segi ni Belakang aku empat segi ni So what I need to do is that I'm going to Since jarak ni 100 Sini pun 100 So tengah-tengah tu mesti 50 50 Okay So I'm, I'm going to pick this edge Then bring my cursor And I'm going to pick this center point of the circle Okay, okay. this center point of the circle Click And then I'm going to drag my dimension up to here Okay So sepatutnya 50 Bukan 52 Sekarang ni Distance here to here sekarang ni ialah 52.303.34217 Tapi kita tak nak dimension ni Sepatutnya dia 50 Pasal apa? Because of this length is 100 So I'm going to make it 50 50 Dan klik OK Alright Same as well as to this one So I'm going to pick this edge Ataupun edge ke atas ni pun yang boleh pilih I'm going to pick this edge The bottom edge Then bring my cursor to this center point of this, this circle center point of the circle then I'm going to drag it you can put it over here or you can put it over here let's I'm going to locate my dimension over here click and then you change it instead of 51.7 you change it to 50 as well kenapa? again because this length the length of this one is 100mm so if we uh, divide it to 2 so it should be 50 alright so 50 click ok sekarang ni you perhatikan juga Lakaran sekel ni kita juga telah berubah daripada biru ke hitam Bermaksud dia dah fully defined, fully constrained Okay, so bermaksud kita dah selesai dengan sketch Dan kita nak go for features pula okay, Kita nak develop 3D, solid modeling So, I nak exit daripada smart dimension ni Sama so, I go to here click Or I just right click Then go to select Okay, then I switch to isometric view Right Zoom sikit And then I go to features Okay, I go to features Sekarang ni ada Extruded cut dengan revolve cut Sama rib ni dia dah terpapar Okay So, bermaksud kita boleh gunakan sekarang ni Tadi tak ada kan masa mula-mula Sekali kita buat cube ni, ni Dia masih lagi uh, Tak on ha, Tak on lagi dia pun, Atau tak highlighted lagi Seperti ni So, masa dia tak boleh gunakan Tapi sekarang ni Dia masih dah boleh gunakan Tetapi I'm not going to proceed with this one I'm going still I'm going to proceed with the extrude boss first So, I'm going to extrude the boss Okay Okay, nampak eh So, I'm going to use blind Okay dan katakan ketinggian dia katakan I nak buat dia 80 ataupun 50 lah ok I'm going to make it 50 like that right right so once confirm I just click ok ok there you are so uh, kita ada tambah lagi permukaan itu permukaan ni kita boleh gunakan katakan I nak buat I would like to sketch or and then I'm going to develop Uh, another terjadi solid modeling pada permukaan ni so definitely I need to pick saya perlu pilih this surface okay, pilih dulu then go to sketch lepas tu kita pilih normal tu oh, ok untuk hilangkan warna biru ni I just click jangan klik dekat part ya just click anywhere uh, outside here outside of this part so I just simply click once only click once and then I'm going to pick circle Again, circle And this time, since I would like to get another circle Okay, circle Pada bahagian circle ni So, I need to bring my cursor to the center of this circle Sehingga, kalau you perhatikan ah, Ada center point Okay, sampai bawa you cursor sampai Uh, that center point, uh, uh, center point uh, akan appear lah kalau kata masa ni tak appear kalau you bawa ke tengah masa ni tak nampak lagi ni kan dia tak, tak timbul lagi ni so what you need to do is that you just need to bring your cursor touch saja jangan te jangan klik eh jangan tekan eh just touch saja touch saja perimeter uh, apa perimeter bulatan yang sedia ada ni nanti dia akan terpapar nampak ok so just go to here dan klik dan let's say somewhere around here lepas tu bila dah sudah klik ok dan I'm going to uh, indicate the dimension pilih dimen smart dimension let's say kata I pilih this one dan kata kata punya dimension I nak buat 30 30 and klik ok ok 
everything once confirmed let's confirm click ok then i'm going to switch back to my asymmetric view supaya senang lah kita nak tengok nanti kan then i'm going to go to features again i'm going to create atau i akan <coughs> pilih extruded boss okay still blind but this time i nak buat katakan i'm going to make it 30 okay 30 ketinggian dia from here to here is 30 so click ok Okay, <coughs> sekarang ni katakan saya nak buat hole pula lubang bermula daripada permukaan atas ni dia tembus lubang tu tembus sampai ke bawah ni. Okay, so what I need to do is that remember saya kena pilih sketch plane terlebih dahulu. That is the most important thing. Okay, barulah kita boleh buat sketch pada atas sketch plane tersebut. So in this case I'm going to pick this surface as my sketch plane. Then go to sketch, sketch icon, sketch command, click this one, and normal tool. Okay, so sekali lagi, nak hilangkan warna biru ni, just click once only at outside here. Once, sekali saja. Okay, scroll. Kasi dia besar sikit. Okay, then I'm going to pick another circle. Again, I'm going to touch this one. Nampak bila I touch je this, this circle or this circle, Center point like automatic appear, okay? Atau will automatic show to us. So, bring our cursor to this center point, click, and then just simply let's see from this one. Just click jemana mana. Lepas tu kita akan indicate dimension. Don't worry. So click smart dimension and pick this one. Let's say I'm going to make it twenty diameter dia, dua puluh diameter lubang tersebut. 20, ok, boleh dah confirm just click ok ok, kita untuk memudahkan view kita, kita go to isometric view alright, now, sekarang lubang ni kita nak tembus, kan nak tembus sampai ke bawah ni alright, so we going, we already finished with our sketch, now we going to choose features untuk buat lubang tembus, kita dah tak boleh extruded boss kita dah tak, tak boleh extruded boss sebab extruded boss dia tak akan buat lubang ok so kita kena extruded cut ok so kita pilih extruded cut ok kalau kita perhatikan dia blind blind ni bermaksud lubang ni dia ada kedalaman tertentu let's say for this case lubang dia ni kedalaman dia adalah 30 katakan kalau saya increase 40, 50 nampak eh? preview dia So, from top here to here, dia punya kedalaman 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, ok, right? Ini kalau kita guna blind. Tapi since macam saya cakap tadi, as what I mentioned to you just now, I would like to create a true hole. True hole, bermaksud lubang tembus. Ok, lubang tembus daripada bermula daripada permukaan atas ni sehingga dia tembus pada bawah ni. So, I no need to use blind. I can just simply expand this arrow and I'm going to choose true all not true all both but true all true all nampak you perhatikan eh kalau you rotate sikit pada bawah the true all kalau blind tadi dia this hole dia ada certain depth dia ada, ada kedalaman tertentu ok berdasarkan pada dimension yang kita indicate kalau kita blind tadi pada kedalaman tertentu tetapi since kita nak true all so kita just simply choose true all like this one ok, true all so once confirm, just click ok there you are ok, you can just click outside, ataupun press escape pada escape ni mana kita nak exit from any activities I escape button pada keyboard awak kan ok, pada you punya keyboard, you press escape escape banyak kali pun tak apa escape tu, you tekan, once bila you tekan escape bermaksud you exit from any activities ok So, you, kalau you rotate, you perhatikan bak dia lubang dia ada lubang tembus. Like that. Okay, lubang tembus. This is solid, but lubang tembus. Okay, kalau kita nak confirmkan, sekali lagi, you bring your cursor to here, katakan I go back to <coughs> asymmetric view. Kalau you perhatikan pada bagian atas ni juga, kita ada section view. So, kita can pick this section view. Okay. So, kat sini kita ada, kalau kita perhatikan dia section 1 ni, yang lain ni biarkan default. Okay, ini kita front plane, ini top plane. 
ini kita right plane okay, katakan kita biarkan front plane so kalau you perhatikan di sini ok kita ada distance dia so kalau ini ke depan salah so, kita reducekan dia nampak ok so ini kalau saya klik ok so confirm that ini adalah lubang tembus tapi daripada 3D tadi kita dah boleh nampakkan ini adalah lubang tembus ok so kalau kita nak uh, <coughs> exit daripada cross section view ni kita pergi balik ke cross section ni dia sekarang ni tengah aktif kan nampak kan dia tenggelam kan icon dia tenggelam maknanya dia tengah aktif kalau dia nak deactivate this uh, uh, cross section view atau kita nak keluar daripada cross section view ni kembali kepada bentuk asal so we need to bring our cursor to here and click this one nampak dia akan pergi balik asal alright ok um, saya nak uh, dah lalang ni eh, dah lalang-lalang Okay, so I nak go to section section view tadi kita pilih dekat bahagian front kan kalau kita pilih pada top plane ok kalau kita play around with this one nampak ok dia akan tunjukkan cross section pada bahagi, bahagian mendata top plane tu lah ok kalau kita pilih pada right plane so arrow ni menunjukkan dia positif ataupun negatif eh arrow dia ni lah ok so sekali lagi saya klik dan right plane so kalau saya positif nampak dia akan tunjuk ok ke arah tersebut so we can play around this one ini kalau angle dia lah nampak eh, ni dengan angle tertentu alright ini angle Y ok we can play around this one later Okay, don't worry eh, don't worry kalau you dah turn ni, you tak payah set pada kosong balik, kenapa? Katakan kalau you dah tengok sini, you can straight away go to here, dia akan kembali ke kedua, asal. Alright, <coughs> pasal cross, cross uh, section view, cross section view ni dia hanya temporary saja. Okay, dia hanya temporary saja nak tunjuk pada kita bahawa how does it uh, look like kalau kita buat cross section. Like so, dia just temporary, no need to worry. So, kalau kita nak deactivate, we just go to section view and click this one so dia akan kembalikan <coughs> ok <coughs> now guys I would like to introduce to you another one more command ok which is uh, known as uh, ok let's say katakan kita proceed with fillet katakan fillet ni radius eh fillet ni radius dia ada features ok fillet katakan saya nak buat radius pada bahagian keempat empat edges ni, 1, 2, 3, 4 sekeliling edges ni saya nak buat so what I need to do is that I need to pick this one first ha, yang ni kita tak perlu pilih sketch plane, tak payah ok, untuk command features fillet ni, kita tak payah perlu pilih sketch plane, mana-mana atau pilih edge ni, tak perlu kita perlu pilih dulu fillet ni supaya this fillet dialog box will appear on your left side of the screen alright so kita akan fokus pada sini dulu pada radius dia berapakah radius yang kita nak buat normally default by 10 ok katakan kita uh, nak buat 10 biarkan 10 radius dia ok radius fillet tu 10mm so pada bahagian items to fillet ni kita perlu pilih edges those edges that we need to create that particular of fillets let's say I'm going as what I did mention to you previously that I'm going to pick all these four edges around around these cubes. So I'm going to pick one more one. One, two, three, and I rotate sikit. Spice a moment. And four. There you are. Okay, like that. Alright. Make sure you full preview. Eh? Kalau you know preview, the uh, uh, fillet tu takkan ada preview. So make sure they, you on full preview. So that can a temporary preview for you before you confirm so katakan kalau you hmm. 10mm ni terlalu kecil mungkin you nak buat 20mm so you can change your dimension here 20 20 lepas you dah tekan 20 you just simply click outside here jangan klik pada part ni click outside once only sekali saja click here then the preview will change like this ok ok so 
Katakan Again You would like to change To 15 15 Katakan Again you Just need to bring your cursor to here Highlight this You can change 15 Or You might also change Here Dekat sini yeah, Instead of you, you can change the value of the radius Pada bahagian sini Fillet parameter sini Okay You also can change the value dekat sini Okay, macam saya cakap tadi, I nak ubah daripada 20 ke 15. So, I'm going to click this one. And then, I'm going to put 1. I'm going to keep in 1, 5, which is 15. Then, click once outside here. Anywhere, anywhere, outside. Jangan, again, don't click on the part. Click pada bahagian environment 1. Click once only. So, dia akan tukar kepada 15. Ini pun, dia akan tukar automatic kepada 15. Alright. So, let's say you already confirm you want to you know, maintain with this 15 mm radius of this fillet. So, once confirm, you click OK. Fillet ni make sure dia constant size fillet. Yang tiga-tiga ni nanti dulu. Kita akan uh, go through this one later. So, for the time being, I want you to focus only on the constant size fillet. So, which is this one. Okay, which is this one. So, once confirm, you just click OK. <coughs> Alright, there you are. Alright. So, let's say, I'm going to indicate, also, I'm going to also make this edge as well, all these edges around this top surface of this cube, okay, uh, I, I need to create a radius of fillet on this edge as well as this one, okay, all this edge. Again, I'm going to pick fillet. And then let's say I'm going just we want to make it 5mm only. 5mm only. Then click outside here. Okay, 5mm only. So under this item to fill its box, I'm going to pick this one, this edge, which is H1, and then this edge, which is H2. Katakan, you don't want this H1. You not just H2 je. Tapi you dah terpilih. You dah tertekan H1, this one. You no need to click cancel. No need. You just need to bring your cursor. Go to H1. Right click. Then jangan clear selection. Kalau clear selection, dia akan clear semua sekali. So just go to delete. Nampak dia akan maintain H2 saja. Alright. So katakan H2 you ni nak 5. So maintain 5. Click OK. Okay. Manakala katakan H ni bukan 5 Katakan you nak buat, uh, you nak buat 10 So go to fillet again Then Change this instead of 5 Make it 10 Click somewhere around here Once only Then under item to fillet You, you just put this one over here So 10 and then Okay Then click OK <coughs> There you are. Okay Katakan di sini pula You nak buat Okay, 3 mm fillet. Okay, 3 mm. 3 mm. Click only once in outside here, around here. Then under items to fillet, you just click this one and let's say this H as well. I'm going to check number sini juga. 3 mm. Click OK. Right? Okay. So this is how it looks like. Alright? Okay, so now uh, I'm going to switch this to isometric view, and as you can see over here uh, under uh, Manager Design Tree, pada bahagian Manager Design Tree ini macam yang cakap tadi, ini dia memaparkan ikon-ikon berkaitan dengan aktiviti-aktiviti yang telah kita buat sebentar tadi untuk menghasilkan kesemua uh, bentuk kesemua features ni yang Untuk membentuk uh, this part Okay So kita ada Boss extrude Nampak Dia highlight biru kan Yang first kali kita buat Then This is the second one The second uh, Activity yang kita buat Click And this is the third one Cut extrude ha, Ini yang The next activity Lepas kita buat fillet ha, Kita buat fillet ni Fillet 2 Fillet 3 Dan fillet 4 Okay Ataupun Anda boleh juga bring your cursor to here Nampak sehingga Sehingga ada simbol tangan tu kan Simbol tangan tu So klik 
with your uh, left mouse button jangan lepaskan button tersebut ok, klik uh, menggunakan uh, button kiri mouse jangan lepaskan you drag sampai ke katakan origin anda origin ni so ini tadi kosong tak ada apa-apa ok ni ok dia pun highlight dia tak highlight ok dia become blur so bermaksud ni daripada asal kosong tadi kan so sekali lagi bring your cursor to here sehingga uh, this uh, hand symbol appear ok simbol tangan ni uh, terbentuk bawa cursor kita ok nampak simbol tangan ni kita klik with left button klik do not release that button ok do not release that left button bring it down here once ok ini yang first kali kita buat tadi then go to here again this is the second one the second activity yang kita uh, we have created just now go again to here sampai tangan ni keluar this is the third activity then go down here once again this is the fourth uh, ini activity seterusnya then this is the next activity this is the next activity and this is our last activity fill up form ok, so ini uh, berkaitan dengan history kita lah dan kalau you perhatikan pada bahagian uh, kiri, tepi kiri setiap icon ni ada macam traffic light tak cukup sifat ni kan pasal warna kuning tak ada dia hanya ada warna merah dan warna hijau je bermaksud kita perlu update kan lah so what you need to do is that you just need to bring your cursor to this traffic light symbol kan macam ni kan so you just rebuild it, click je so dia akan rebuild for you ok, dia akan rebuild alright, so just rebuild once again ok, so <coughs> so what's after confirm everything so, katakan I'm going to create another one which is over here ok, okay I'm going to pick again eh, I would like to show to you how I'm going to uh, create a uh, 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 feature by uh, using the selected surface so let's say I'm going to pick down this surface as my sketch plate ok then pilih dulu sketch then sketch sketch then normal to right and let's say now I'm going to indicate <coughs> a box here a box here so instead of using line kan tadi I dah tunjuk beri you line untuk kita buat cube I'm going to expand this I'm going to use corner corner rectangle kita ada banyak jenis rectangle ni I will to show to you one by one later ok so for the time I'm going to choose corner rectangle ok by you expand this arrow and then you choose corner rectangle pick corner rectangle and then I'm going to bring my cursor to my probably around here ok nampak eh kalau you bring your cursor ah, dah keluar simbol kuning tu itu menunjukkan intersection maknanya dia dah bersentuh dengan edge pada bagian bawah ni ok so klik go to here click and then kata kat I just drag some around here first don't worry why we can we going to indicate the dimension later <coughs> so once after confirm just click ok and then we go to smart dimension and let's say this dimension the, the height of this uh, box let's say I'm going to make it uh, 35 then click ok alright whereas the uh, distance between uh, since I'm going to look at this box at the center of this uh, this uh, sketch or this this uh, shape so I'm going to I should uh, I, I really need to ensure that the distance between here and here as well as here to here should be the same so I'm going to pick this line and choose this edge and let's say I'm going to make it 25 okay 25 click ok same as well as this one and this one so I'm going to pick this line to this edge ok nampak ada warna orange once when dia dah bertukar ke warna orange maknanya kita dah dah pilih lah tu dah, dah bersentuh lah dengan edge tersebut click 
and then bring it somewhere around here then change it to 25 katakan kalau you tertekan 27 lepas tu you pula tertekan ni tertekan ok sepatutnya then you nak buat 25 kan you tertekan ok kan lepas tu you tak perasan oh bahawa you terperasan kata sepatutnya 25 it's not 27 so what you need to do is that you just need to bring a cursor to this here pada nombor ni jangan pada dia punya uh, arrow ni eh, atau extension line you go to this number the figure this one okay. double click anda kata papa ke sini kembali dan buat bah, kepada 25 dan click ok right ok click ok so same as well as this one katakan I tak nak buat 35 lah I nak buat dia panjang sikit make it 40 so you go to here bring your cursor to here ok this number the, fig uh, the figure of this number then double click and then I'm going to change instead of using 35 I'm going to increase it to 40 mm then click ok ok there you are so click ok so once confirm I'm going to switch this to isometric view so that easier for us not to walk nanti right then we go to features and I'm going to extrude boss okay however I'm going to reduce I'm going to use blind okay blind and I'm going to reduce it to let's say around 60 and then, then just click once of once confirm then I just click OK. Alright? And then I'm going to apply since we already learned about the fillet, kita dah belajar tadi bukan ada fillet kan? So I'm going to apply fillet on this uh, feature, on this boss extrude ni. Okay, I'm going to apply few more fillets. So go to fillet and let's say I'm going to make it 10 mm. Okay, click somewhere around here. Then under items to fill it here, I'm going to make this one here, and here is 10 mm, right? So click OK, and then on top of this, around here, I'm going to make it 3 mm, fill it, and then I'm going to change to 3 mm, click somewhere around here, then under items to fill it, this one, I'm going to pick this one. Let's say if you want to apply this one as well, so you just click this one also. Okay, so that I can apply everything. Okay, so then click OK. Still, you mean with constant size fillet. Click OK. There you are. So it looks like this. Okay. Kalau kita switch display ni, daripada shaded with edges kepada shaded, ya kan, awak akan dapat dia macam ni lah. It looks more real lah. Because why? Because dia dah uh, tak ada uh, edges tadi kan ok so tetapi as why they mentioned to you just now that since for the beginners so uh, you need to use it's, it, it is much more better if you can uh, if you use shaded with edges like this ok guys and again let's say I'm going uh, <coughs> I'm going to create a hole over here true hole so again I'm going to pick this surface as my sketch plane sketch then normal two, okay. Nah, hilang kawan biru ni. Click once saja kat bagian luar ni, and then I'm going to click circle, okay. So I'm going to pick uh, anywhere around here, okay. So I'm going to indicate at the uh, dimensions. Let's say the dimension of this one. Yes, I'm going to make uh, 25 the diameter and now we're going to locate the dimensions okay from here to here okay since we know that the distance from here to here okay the distance from here to here is 100 and then we already created the distance from here to here is 25 so 100 minus 25 minus 25 it means that 50 and the center of this uh, circle should be 25 from here or you can get this one to from this center point to here okay you can make it 25 
enter uh, click ok or okay, i'm going to delete this okay it means that from here to this this edge to the center point or i'm going to delete this or let's say this one just now is somewhere around here or you might also smart dimension you might also indicate this one to this one over here be 50 okay 50 mm and then click okay. all right and now i'm going to indicate the center of this line to here my problem i'm going to make it around 25 make it further further uh, around here okay for the, this this side so i'm going to make it 25 then click Oh, my body 20. Okay, I'm going to 20 further. Move like that, then click OK. Let's see how it looks like. Okay, that's nice. Okay, and since this circle already changed the color from blue to black, so it means that uh, this uh, sketch uh, of this circle is already constrained or, the, or uh, fully defined. So I'm going to switch back to isometric. I'll get the up isometric view only. And I'm going to make this one through hole. Remember, go to features, extruded cut, and make sure that instead of using blind, we switch it to through all. Okay, kalau kita rotate, okay, kita nampak the through all, right? So just click OK. So there you are. Okay, guys. All right. Okay. So kalau kita nak tengok pada section view. Cross, cross section view, just click cross section view dan kita ubah kepada front plane and let's say, kalau ke sini dia positif, so kita negatifkan dia so this turn ni, D ni this turn lah so this turn, so kita play around with this one uh, it should be look like that then click ok ok, this is the cross section alright Ok, let's say kita nak kembali ke bentuk asal, we just need to deactivate this one. So, by bring our cursor to here and click this one. Ok guys, so I think uh, I'll stop here uh, for this time being. And I will see you in our next video for further uh, activities or commands that we can apply in SOLIDWORKS. Thank you very much.